Hey all, it's Aurelius. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, you're going to learn how to create and sell Notion templates. I'm going to show you my own live example of the exact Notion template that I'm selling, as well as some other examples uh, to give you some ideas and inspiration as to where you can start in terms of selling Notion templates. So let's dig in. Notion's a workspace slash project management app that works like Trello, Asana, and Monday, but with a lot more customization options and flexibility. So you can truly manage anything you want inside Notion. On my screen, you'll see an example of how I'm selling my Notion template. This is my link in bio using a service called Koji, which I'll explain more in detail in this video. So when someone clicks on my YouTube content calendar Notion template, that opens up and then they can buy that Notion template directly through here. So I simply describe what it is and then they can unlock this link for $7. It's not limited, of course, to just content templates or calendars. You can see with these other examples, Daniel Canosa is selling this 2021 habit tracker and goal setter. You can see what this is all about with some of these screenshots and nice photos that he's got organized right here. And it explains what it is and what they're going to get. All they need to do is just buy it for $19. Here's another Notion template in a completely different topic niche. This is a gardening dashboard where you can basically track, plan, and manage your gardening activities, such as a garden journal, planting calendar, and so much more. So that's an interesting niche right there. There's also this GTD or getting things done system and life dashboard that you can buy for $5. And of course, this was created by another user. And here's another interesting one called the Notion Adventure Template where you can record and take down places where you've been and then share it with the world or whatever it is and organize everything basically. If you're, let's say a trekker or if you like doing hikes, then this would be a perfect template. So I hope these examples have given you some inspiration and open you up to the endless possibilities of selling Notion templates. With that said, let's now get to the technical aspects of setting up, creating and selling your Notion templates. First and foremost, if you don't have a Notion account, be sure to sign up by clicking on the sign up button. I recommend you sign up using a Google account. That way you can take advantage of Google's two-factor authentication. You've seen some of the examples of Notion templates being sold and of course my own, but where do you even start if you have no idea? Well, the best thing to do is to of course use Notion yourself for your own purpose, whether that's in life or in business or work. Essentially, you wanna be the guinea pig of your Notion templates, testing, tweaking, and making improvements to your template before you actually sell it to your clients or customers. Furthermore, you wanna get results from using your Notion workspace or template before you go out, of course, to sell it and so that you'll be a lot more confident in selling your Notion template. To give you some template ideas and for you to kind of base your templates on, click on the templates section right here. This is an option to view some of the templates that are available in Notion and you can categorize it or select these different types of categories. We've got design, education, engineering, marketing, personal, and some of these other ones. So let's say we want to create some sort of uh, workspace around marketing. You've got a content calendar, got a mood board, brand assets, and more. A little side note, obviously don't sell these templates as is because the whole point of selling Notion templates is because people, your customers or clients want to get your custom templates. So keep that in mind. So that's the idea stage. Once you've actually created your template and begun to use it on a day-to-day -day or weekly basis, you'll then tweak and improve your template along the way. In this example, I'll be selling this YouTube content calendar, which is actually based on my own YouTube calendar, but I've got this template made specifically for my customers. The way that this content calendar works is it's in a board or Kanban system. You can see that ideas stay in one section. Once I wanna take that idea and script it, I'll just drag and drop it to, to script so that I know what I'm up to. Clicking on the idea right here, I then can move on to a video template. So I'm going to select my video template with examples. So this is actually what my customers get. They get this specific template and structure so they know exactly what to talk about in their videos and how to lay it out and structure it. So the process moves along as you progress with your video idea. And that's a basic rundown on how my YouTube content calendar works. 
Sorry guys, Future Aurelius here, and I wanted to add this in to this video, showing you some of Notion's basics and the features of what you can do. And this is what we've just created real quick. Took me only about five minutes, so let's dive into that. In terms of creating a Notion template, I won't go through every single step because there are a ton of tutorials on YouTube already if you search it up. So what you can do if you want to learn kind of the basics on how to start a workspace in Notion, if you go to your Notion account, we can click on add a page and that's kind of the basis of starting a new canvas. And from here, we give this title a name. So let's say we want to create a dashboard of some sort or a homepage, we can start with that. And from here, we can either click on templates and then choose from one of them. Or if you want to start one from scratch and integrate all sorts of things such as a board, a list, and perhaps a list of other links to other pages, then you can do so. But we can simply go here and then there's this command where you simply put the slash and then you can bring up all sorts of things such as text. We've got a page that we can embed a to-do list, we've got headings. So for instance, let's say on our dashboard, we wanna add different categories or sections on our dashboard, such as business, uh, personal, private. And to do that, we are going to start by clicking on heading one. Let's say this section is for business. And then let's create another one called uh, personal. And let's say another one for health. And these are things we wanna track. And what we need to do now is with this, we just turn it into a heading one, or you can use heading two, depending how um, large I guess you want it. But in this case, let's turn it into a heading two. What you can also do in terms of organization and layout, we can drag the title so that it's on the right. And now you can see we've got two columns instead of the one. Now under this, we can then add something like turn into a bulleted list or a to-do list, or we can add another page. So right here. So then that links to another page. So then you can see we're starting from scratch again here. Let's say this is for our business accounting. I'll go back to my dashboard and now you can see that page. And when I click it, it goes to that accounting page and then you can follow those same steps in order to create that accounting page. Under personal, you could have bills, you know, you could have other things like your own uh, bookkeeping. You could have things like uh, your mortgage, whatever you wanna put and organize under these categories, health, maybe a fitness tracker. And we can turn this fitness tracker into another page, which then links up to a table of let's say our calorie counting or our workout regime or exercises that we do list out all down so that that's all here. So you've got this dashboard where you can go back anytime you wish. Now to make it a bit more personal and custom, we can add an icon, just highlight over the top head and then click on add icon. Then you can select a different icon or upload a custom one. But let's say we wanna look for a home this could represent our homepage or dashboard. Also adding a cover photo if you wish to do so. And you can see this is what uh, they've put by default. We can change a cover. I'm gonna search one from Unsplash and let's see, we've got something like uh, an office. Let's search for an office. And let's say we've got this one right here. Yeah, let's see what that ends up looking like. So there you go, as you can see, as we are adding more and more details and additions to our dashboard, it's now looking a bit more like something. But that's just a quick rundown in terms of how to use some of Notion's basic features and how you can go about creating your template. Moving on to the next step, let's set up and prepare our Notion template for sale. Before you start selling your Notion template, you wanna make sure that you create this kind of master copy. I've got this as a template using basically square parenthesis, calling it template. So then I can differentiate and tell exactly that this is just a template, not my actual working uh, YouTube content calendar in this case. You can do the same by entering a template shortcode like this. Next up, a good idea is to add a description. In this case, I've got Aurelius Chin's YouTube content calendar and I've got instructions. 
if you have a set of instructions, whether that's in text or video form, provide it here so then your customer or client knows how to use your Notion template. What you also wanna make sure you do is to duplicate your main Notion template that you use on a daily basis by hovering over and then clicking this three dotted icon and then clicking on duplicate. That way you're not going to affect your main Notion workspace slash template. Once you've prepared your Notion template, the next step is how do you go about sharing your Notion template to the world? First of all, there's no file to export or download. The best way is to simply share the template by clicking on share. Then you'll get an option to share to web. Make sure you enable that. Then click on show link options. You wanna make sure to allow duplicate as template. Take note also to disable allow editing and allow comments so other customers don't see any of these edits or aren't allowed to. Once those settings are set, click on copy link. For record, you can paste it into a notepad or text editor because we'll be using this at a later stage, but you can always go back to share, then clicking on copy link. At this stage, you're now ready to set up your Notion template as a product. The platform I recommend you use to sell your Notion template is Gumroad. Think of Gumroad as a shopping cart system where you can place your Notion template for sale, set your prices, set your digital download link, and everything else. You can even create upgrades or upsells. Sign up is free, but there is a 5% charge plus the 3.5% and 30 cent per transaction fees. You can sign up by clicking on start selling. By the way, I won't go through every single feature of Gumroad. If you do want a more comprehensive step-by-step -step tutorial of Gumroad, I'll link up a card right here for you to watch at your own time. Once you've created your Gumroad account, where you wanna go is into the product section. Click on new product. It's going to ask you what are you creating and we can select the classic start selling today. Give your product a name. In my example, I'm selling this YouTube content calendar. So I'll type in YouTube content calendar. Now, how much to sell your Notion template for really depends on you, how much you think it's worth. In my case, I'm just going to sell it at $7. Click on next to customize. We've already named our product, so we'll keep that as is. Now, write a description. I've typed out mine, which is from idea to publish, this board will help you plan, outline, schedule, and execute your YouTube videos in one place. Stay consistent and organized. Moving down, you wanna add a thumbnail. So they recommend a 600 by 600 pixel image here. At this stage, what you wanna do is to create that thumbnail and you can use a tool like Canva to create your thumbnail. I just made this real quickly and all it is is just an icon of Notion and I've got YouTube content calendar and a screenshot of the actual Notion template, of course. In order for you to create one of these, simply get a Canva account, all the links and resources tools in the description below. Click on create a design and you wanna make sure you create a custom size right here. And it's indicating 600 by 600 pixels minimum. So we can do so like that. Create a new design. And now it's just a matter of adding certain texts and elements that we want. So if you want text, click on text, click on a heading, so click that. And then you can say, uh, Notion template, whatever you want the thumbnail to say, but of course, keep it short. What you can also do is to add an icon of Notion, perhaps just like I did right here. I simply search for a Notion logo and then I saved it. And now I can just simply paste it in right there, or you can upload it through the uploads section right here. If you wanna learn more Canva tips and tricks and how to get started using Canva, I will provide some links and resources to those in some separate tutorials that I created in the past. I'm not going to waste too much time on this since I've already designed mine. I'll click on the thumbnail image right here. I'll select my thumbnail. Next up, you've got a cover photo and that'll be placed and embedded at the top of your Gumroad offer page. You can see where this placeholder is, that's where your cover photo will be. This time to create your cover photo, click on create a design and you wanna go to custom size and you wanna do a 1920 by 1080 pixel design, click on create a new design and then you'll have a blank canvas to work with and this is what mine looks like. Basically, I wanna showcase a few of the screenshots. This one's the same, but uh, you get the gist. I added one extra one right here. What I'll do then is to download it as a PNG file. Go back to Gumroad, and then I'm just going to choose that cover photo. Click on cover. And as you can see, it's now added it, and this is the preview.
Scrolling down, you'll see call to action. You can select what you want as the button text. So I want this, buy this, or pay. I'll just select buy this. Next, you've got summary, which will be embedded and added to the side of your Gumroad offer page. In here, I would say something like get immediate access to the following. And then I'll add some additional details, which I can then add some bulleted benefits and features. In this example, I'll just put in Notion template access. You can add a value number if you want. So let's say it's valued at $97 or whatnot. So you can use a dollar sign or whatever currency you want there, but I'll just take that out for now. You can add another, this could be some sort of bonus, like a tutorial. And let's say we've got one more bonus called a worksheet. As you can see, it's now added to the sidebar. Next, you've got content. Remember the URL that you copied from the Notion template? Well, this is where you wanna add it in. Click on redirect to a URL after purchase, and this is where you enter the share URL. You can either go to your text editor or notepad to copy and paste that link, or you can simply go back to your Notion template that you wanna sell, click on share, Let's do that again and make sure we click on copy link. Paste it in right here and we can test it out. It's giving me the green lights and that's all good to go. We've already set a price. With Gumroad, you can actually allow your customers to choose whatever price they want by enabling this option right here. That way you can set a minimum amount or a suggested amount. You can skip on the versions unless you have some sort of upgrade that you wanna add. Review your product details and you can always edit this later on anyway. Let's click on save changes for now. Once that's saved, let's click on checkout. You can add a discount code, edit the payment form and modify the thank you note in your customer's receipt. Once you're done with that, let's save changes again and then we click on publish. Now that it's published, you're given these options to tweet, share or copy the URL. We want to copy that URL. Copy and pasting that link to another tab on my browser, I can see what it looks like. What I would do realistically is add a few more bullet points and a bit more of a description and perhaps more images that'll uh, help illustrate what they're going to get. In terms of how you get paid from Gumroad, make sure you go to your profile settings by clicking on settings. Make sure to go to payments and then you can connect with PayPal or you can go to payout and then you can get paid via direct deposit. Now that your Notion template's ready to sell, the next step of course is how do you go about selling your Notion template? The first way I'd like to share with you is to submit your Notion template to a Notion templates marketplace. Here's one called Notion Expert. You can sell a template, follow these steps to sell your template by filling in the details. Here's another one called Notion Everything. Click on add your template. Follow the instructions as you can see, and that's it. Those are a couple of Notion template marketplaces. The next and most obvious way is to sell to your direct audience. If you have a social media following, announce it to your social media followers, whether that's on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, or any other social media platforms. For me, in addition to selling to my audience through social media, I've also got an email database. So therefore I can leverage on email marketing, sell it directly to my email subscribers. If you recall at the start, I shared my Notion template and how I'm selling it, and that's through Koji, which is a link in bio service, as you can see, let's go back click on this and this is how I'm selling it my audience can buy it directly on this page and they don't need to leave or go off this page so check out Koji I'll link to this in the description box below once you've set up your Koji profile you can actually go to Koji's app store and basically integrate the link locker and this is the exact integration that I added to my Koji profile in order to sell my YouTube content calendar for a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on how to use Koji, I'll link up a card right here to that video. And there you have it. That's how to create and sell Notion templates. You've come up with an idea, you've created your Notion template. All you need to do now is to use your Notion template on a regular basis so that you can tweak, improve, and progress as you go along with your Notion template get results from it personally, so that you can be confident in selling your Notion template. It is optional, of course, and if you purely wanna create Notion templates to make some money and to monetize, then go ahead and do that. With all that said, I hope this video was helpful and you've learned a new thing or two. And if you did, by all means, hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications too. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and looking forward to sharing the next tutorial with you.